Back everybody, and uh, a lovely day to be back. This week is actually quite warm. We've got uh, at the end of the week, it's 41 and four, it's come down to 43. It was 46, but uh, it's now 41. Uh, no, 43. Still very hot, so we'll see how we go with spreading this week. Uh, Henry is currently now spreading at the moment. I've got the drone on charge, I'll throw that up later so you know we can have a look at the uh, the uh, thing from the air. Uh, I am currently just driving around looking at rock piles. So I'm wanting to see what I can remove. Still in the same paddock that we were before, but I'm just uh, driving around and seeing which rock piles we should remove and we shouldn't. This one's a really big one, but uh, it'd be nice just to remove it because right here is actually really short runs. Uh, just here, we'll drive up there. Just there is a little creek. Now that's where Dad and I were dumping all the rocks from around this area last time. And uh, that's why uh, Henry started dumping here but he stopped because it's now just a bit too sandy and he was getting bogged so I'm not really sure where I'm gonna dump this if he was getting bogged but um, yeah we'll uh, I'll make a plan and deal with it but the uh, the big question I reckon on everybody's minds well yeah I'll just show you this so this is uh, the creek those are the loads that Henry did and then those are the loads that uh, dad and I did all those years ago and uh, we yeah had no issue but uh, Henry is or was now there's a little rock pile just there that's definitely getting removed I'm just gonna drive around like I said and see which see what needs removing um, but yes the bigger big question in everyone's mind is why are we currently not sitting in a Mack truck and driving it back from Melbourne well truck update so we have got the truck now let's uh i obviously started with the private guy sorry started with the dealer and he said i'll oh, best go to the private guy went to the private guy and uh that's that's how this all started now i didn't the the dealer it's just it's just one man and you know he's obviously got a lot of trucks and uh he he had COVID, so uh you know he's an el elderly gentleman and uh you know COVID's knocking him around so he didn't want to deal with you know going and checking a truck and you know being out in public he was trying to isolate things like that and yeah so that's why you know sort of palmed me off and i went to the private guy and then that's when i was dealing with the private guy and it just it just was seeming too stressful and too dodgy of a truck to try and drive over especially with the uh, the air leak and the indicators not working. That's when I went back to the dealer and uh, he was like, yep, no worries, we'll get it sorted. Uh, he went down and checked the, t checked the truck over and the truck had a fuel leak. So he went and got fuel hose and fixed that. And then the lift pump was leaking as well. So then it ran for about four minutes uh, and then starved itself of fuel. Uh, so he needed to get a new lift pump. There's none in Australia or whatever, but he's got three of the trucks. So he's gonna steal it off another one, put it on this one, make sure it all ran up, and then uh, we'd be all hunky-dory. Now, Aussie Day was the day that he was gonna be doing that because he still got COVID. Uh, and then he got back to me that night and he you know, he was still in bed at you know, 10, 11 o'clock because uh, COVID was just absolutely kicking him for six. So he was, uh, he was too stressed trying to get that all sorted in time for me to want to go over and get it because like i've said before this is sort of like our best week to go and get it so anyway he'd uh he'd already called his uh transport company that he uses to transport trucks and everything over and uh got a figure came back to me and laid it all out and he was like right uh this is the figure let's just say it's between between uh it was between five and ten grand and that's why I said, no, this is why I want to drive it over. It's a lot cheaper for me to drive it over. And he goes, yes, I'm aware of that. Uh, the figure was, well, the figure was 12 and then they brought it down to 
whatever it was. And then he said, well, what if I take half of that cost? Now, him taking half of that would mean that it was uh, on par or slightly cheaper for it to be trucked over than for me and Henry to fly and drive it back. So I said, okay, well, yep, no, that sounds good to me. We'll do that. And that's where we've, uh, that's where we've been. So today's currently Monday for me. So the invoice should come through today. We'll get that all sorted. And then hopefully we shall have a truck on its way within the next week. I hope, I hope. So uh, yeah, that's where we are with the truck. And uh, this is uh, that small tiny rock pile. Why did dad and I leave that, I wonder? Especially when uh, that's like three bucket loads and we were dumping just there. I honestly have no idea. So th that one will definitely get removed. Um, over here, you'll see this rock pile just there. That is where Henry was dumping all the other rocks from those two rock piles up on top of the hill. And uh, that was, uh, there, that's a nasty rock pile. That's one that, yeah, you won't remove. So that's why we're dumping there. So I'll figure out where I'm gonna dump this stuff and yeah, we'll start moving a loader and stuff around and get that sorted. So just a, a very short drive around. I've already found four rock piles that we're gonna remove. Uh, well, definitely one of them is one, again, that Dad and I pushed around to stop, well, slow water flow down. But uh, it's, we'll just uh, remove it, shall we? It's just, uh, it'll be nicer and yeah, we'll just, we'll just remove it. The, uh, if we get water, then uh, happy days, it means it's rained. So uh, we'll just, I'll remove them. Now, uh, before I do go, uh, going straight off into uh, doing all these rock piles, I just went down to the house as well. Uh, we've got doors and everything like that, which is amazing, but it's all locked. I can't get in, which is uh, a bit annoying. But while I was there, I remembered I do need to remove, there is some extra installation, insulation, sorry, not installation. So there's extra inso, so I need to go down and uh, remove that so that that's out of all their way, it's in the garage. And I do need to remove the bricks that are down there. So there are bricks, I need to move them out the way. And there's also some sheets of tin there I need to move as well. Now I need to move it, probably don't need to move the bricks and the tin today, but uh, I need to do it soonish because in about two weeks, I believe the pool is getting installed which is uh, gonna be awesome, but the, yeah, it's all in the way. So if I leave them there, they'll uh, claim them as theirs. And yeah, we've already paid for it and all that. So just gonna go and grab, I'll go down now and grab all the inside. So that's all done. And uh, yeah, I've got to work in with Henry because I obviously need the telehandler to move bricks. And uh, yeah, the tin's not too bad. I could do that by myself, but uh, I also actually need to go and throw another bale of hay to the horses. So uh, I will need to steal his telehandler at some point. Do you think they may be over ordered on the uh, insulation? Got a bit there left over. Anyway, uh, I've currently got the fuel trailer on board. Uh, Henry is going to be coming in very shortly and just needs uh, fuel for the day. I've got a thousand litres on, well, 1100 from, uh, from siphoning it out of art. So there'll be. Uh, he said he's got a quarter of a tank, so that's plenty enough for him. So I'll uh, just fill up with a little bit of petrol, so we're all good. And uh, well, there he is there. Well, you can't see. He's probably going to turn behind the trees. I reckon I might stand down there and watch the fuel from down there because I'm getting covered in gypsum from up here. So 
So you can see a prime example of the cage working right there. All those rocks are just falling off, coming down. Uh, again, the, you don't want these sort of rocks to be in there. Some of them will break up, like that one. But this one here won't. That's just like a limestone rock. I don't know what that is, but yeah, you, you don't want them inside your hopper because if it gets stuck on the door, it'll rub your belt and put a hole through your belt. And uh, if it does make it out, the next thing it'll do is it'll cause damage to the fins. Obviously they're spinning at 550 revolutions per minute. So you can imagine the sort of damage uh, like little rocks and big rocks will do to the, uh, the fins. The only danger is that sometimes like that, it bounces off and it hits, uh, it hits Manny. But uh, as long as it's uh, soft rocks, it's all right. So you would have seen that drone footage there. Uh, Henry drove through where we, uh, well, where, where we removed that rock pile the other day. So you can see it was on his tram and now it's not. So I bet he was a happy man driving through that, especially when it comes to uh, being in the boom spray. Making it a lot easier for him. So I'm just about to grab Louie there and head out and get another little tiny rock pile, which is uh, pretty close to where that one was. Uh, it's only gonna be like two or three buckets. So I'm not gonna take the truck out there. I'm gonna be a bit naughty and just drive across like the, 
the creek line with it. I'll show you when I get out there. Um, it's not worth me taking the truck out to that one. Oh, my water. Um, so I'm just gonna do that, because, uh, and then after lunch, I'll use uh, Bill and take that out, and then I can get all the gear out to that big rock pile that I showed you this morning, and we'll crack into that one. So I may have exaggerated a little bit. It's gonna be a bit more than three, three bucket loads. Uh, but yeah, there's Henry. Uh, I'm in like the creek I was talking about now. So you can see we pushed it sideways like that so that it would stop, well, slow the water that was coming down. And uh, this is just the, where we've been dumping over there. So it's gonna be a little bit dodgy to go across my workings and just do uh, all my bucket loads and get over there. So I'm tying Bill up to uh, that other rock pile there so I can get the truck out there and get back and get the loader and head out there. And whilst I'm in the midst of doing all this transporting, Henry's only got probably a bucket and a half left just there. So he will, uh, he's got 10 ton on board at the moment. He's away from the pile. So he's gonna probably finish that or come close to finishing that. Come over here and scoop that up and uh, then we'll move up to the pile, which is up on top of the road there, uh, where we had the lime last year, uh, where I did the slashing in the first, well, in, in the video a couple videos ago. Uh, and uh, yeah, so we'll get him all moved over and then I'll start doing, uh, attacking that rock pile and working out where I'm gonna dump those rocks. And we say goodbye to Art. So, uh, Henry goes to town. They're gonna swap out all of the, uh, the controller stuff for the Borgo and put that into the new tractor. And then, uh, yeah, they'll bring out the new tractor. Hopefully, around second week of Feb, somewhere around that, we'll be able to see that on farm. Haven't got any work for it, but you know, at least it's out here, it's in the shed. And uh, yeah, no, very excited for that. So. In the time that uh, I last did a clip, I uh, had taken the truck out, I picked Henry up, and he got the telehandler uh, out there. So I'm just gonna go and hook onto his ute, excuse me, hook onto his ute and then take that to the, uh, to up where, where he's working. And uh, I had to go and do some office work in the, as well, had to set up a meeting for tomorrow. So I'm heading to town tomorrow for a meeting. And then, uh, Finally, I'll get back in Louie there and I'll go for a drive. Go and start picking some rocks. One ute delivered and there's 300 ton for Henry to go on with there. And you might be able to see Henry's just down there. As I'm driving down the road, I see a, uh, a black thing on there. And uh, cause you got the gypsum, so there's lots and lots of trucks driving down Cascade Road at the moment. Occasionally, you know, trucks pop tires. I thought, oh, someone's having a bad day. They've popped a tire get closer and uh, no no that would be the uh, the door for the fuel box toolbox so uh, I guess I'll take that in tomorrow when I uh, go into town for my meeting and drop it off <laughs> Time to uh, start working on this rock pile, and then I'm only going to go to right there to dump off. I'm only going to get maybe four loads in there before that is actually full, so I'm not too sure where I'll go after that. Uh, but yeah, we'll see if I get bogged on my first load. I'll uh, see how we go loading, and yeah, I'm not too worried about filling up too full and getting bogged because I'm only right there. It's only a short walk to the loader. We'll see how we go.
All right, we'll see how we go. Uh, what was happening to Henry was as soon as it was uh, tipping, you got your weight up your drives, so you can't really do much about it. Got to put you on the angle. And what happens is because uh, all the weights come off, you can't pull forward. Well, hopefully I've gone far enough back in there that I'm not going to bring rocks out in the paddock, but I don't think I have. But that, that's the issue with here anyway. So we'll see if I get bogged. That one went all right. We'll see how we go on our next one. So the issue is, the way that I have to turn in, I'm uh, gonna be driving over my, uh, oh yeah, driving over my track every time, so you're creating uh, loose sand. So we'll see, we'll see how we go. Um, but yeah, I probably could have been a little bit further back, because as you can see, our stubble is just there, and that's just there, so yeah. Whereas Henry was uh, a lot further back, so I put him on a bit more of an angle. Mm, it's a bit of a sound. And you can see where he got bogged last time because he was, uh, yeah, a lot further back. But let's do another one and we'll see how we go. All right, here we go for uh, the uh, second attempt. Hope I don't tear the sand up too much and we should still be all right. We're all going to find out together, aren't we? Oh, I probably need to go a bit further back, but... I can always push it with the loader if I come out into the paddock. Lock on and lock forward. And that was a success. You watch my confidence it's gonna to get too high here. And we're going to end up getting bogged in the end, but... <laughs> oh well. I am not going in as far in as what Henry was. And uh, that is probably why I'm not getting bogged. So I, what I am going to probably need to do is bring the loader down and just push these in just a tiny bit. Because, uh, yeah, I don't want to go too far in and get bogged. And I also don't want to leave the uh, rocks on the edge of the crop there. Because that will cause damage. So one thing I wanted to show you guys is just how well the pin reel rake... rake <laughs> those are my words. The pin reel rake works when it's set up to the right conditions. And the rake is at its proper length. And you can lift it up and down, put it where you want. It does an absolutely amazing job. So just look at the size of these little rocks. So you got, like that's a decent sized rock, but you got, you know, small rocks, even down to like pebble size, it was picking up and raking. So yeah, it just goes to show just how, how good it can work. Our current one doesn't work that well because as you saw, it's very old. Hydraulics don't work at the back. The, uh, the rakes are worn 
and yeah it's, it's been neglected so yeah and obviously you got to bear in mind back when they cleared this it obviously all looked like that the trees over there but then uh yeah this was just all bare so they 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 raked um well i'll get dad on and you know explain it properly when we do the history but essentially they uh they knocked it all down they burnt it all and then they raked it all and then they picked it all up so yeah the rake when it works works well and it's in, a, in its element works ideal so you know you're getting the big boulders all the way down to the small ones so yeah it does work well just our one doesn't Alrighty, that was my last load for the day. I can still fit one more in. Uh, I haven't been bogged yet, although it is getting awfully uh, torn up here, but I've only got, uh, I can only fit one more load here anyway. So yeah, not too, too worried about that. I will see how I go. I might, because I had those ones on the other side there so far forward. I reckon I can fit, you know, another one here maybe. Uh, but then after that, I'm full here. I've got to figure out where to go from here. I think I might, uh, it'll be a bit of a drive, but I might go to where our tip is and do it there. Uh, there's no really else to go here. So yeah, bit bit annoying, but it's what I'm gonna have to do to make sure I can clean this pile up. Uh, so yeah, that'll be my, uh, my mission for tomorrow. So thank you everyone for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it and uh, yeah, we're just, Doing our uh, doing our day to day life here, so I hope it's not too boring for everyone. Just the uh, same stuff over and over again, but that's farming. So anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share because it really helps the uh, helps the channel. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.